Hello, my name is Shanik William. I am a trauma therapist, a kidney transplant recipient, and a fur baby mama. I wanted to share a little bit of my story today to highlight trauma therapies, namely EMDR and brain spotting that I have received in my journey and that I now provide. Uh, 24 years ago today, when I was 18 years old, I received a life-saving kidney transplant. I had been very ill the two years prior on dialysis and it wasn't working and I was told if I got a cold, then that would be it, I would die. And so the only good option that I had, the only option I had was my mom who was my very best friend. The problem with her donating her kidney to me is that she had had a really severe reaction to pain. Her surgery prior to the kidney transplant uh, was in a lot of pain, went into shock, and we almost lost her. And so I was terrified about the idea that this was really my only option, was to receive a kidney from my mom. And when you donate a kidney, they have to go through a lot of muscles, at least they did at the time you know, 24 years, they've come some ways. And so they had to go through a lot of muscle and um, it's three times, at the time it was three times harder on the donor than it was on the recipient. And so I knew that it was gonna be a lot of pain for her. Um, and we had talks about what that might mean and I was just really scared, but smiled my way through it and just hoped that everything would be okay. Well, I had a history of waking up early from anesthesia, once even in the middle of a surgery. And so this day was no different. And I woke up early and um, through brain spotting, a tr one trauma therapy that I'm talking about today, and I'll get to a little bit later, I have realized that as I came out of anesthesia and realizing now they hadn't given me a local anesthetic for that new nine inch incision because I woke up probably a couple hours earlier than they expected and they hadn't given me any painkillers. So no local and no painkillers. And so I woke up in excruciating pain. And in that moment, I've since discovered this year, in fact, I thought there's no way she's going to live through three times more pain than this. Like I couldn't handle what I was experiencing and knowing it would be three times worse for her. In that moment, I decided she had died. They gave me two shots of morphine, one in each butt cheek, and um, and I didn't really remember believing that or feeling that. And in a with a trauma like that, it gets stuck, it gets frozen. And even with evidence that that was in fact not true, that she survived, I lived in that place of um, fear and. Yeah, it just really impacted the last 24 years. Something else that happened that day, um, medication induced partly, trauma induced surely, and lifestyle factors probably, I started getting migraines and headaches. And until this year, I had a migraine or a headache 24 seven. And um, that is part of what I want to talk about today. So I'm going to just look, kind of look at notes here. Um, so chronic pain, for those of you who suffer with chronic pain, you know that there's only so long you can smile and laugh your way through it and pretend like you're okay. And I made it about 17 years of just trying everything you can imagine trying to ease that chronic pain. And it almost felt like 
my resilience broke, my ability to, my energy that it took to fake that I felt all right broke. And I had a few really hard years there where it, it, was, it got really difficult. And depression and anxiety accompanied that chronic pain like it often does. And enter EMDR. And so I started, I've done talk therapy, all good therapists do, um, do their own work, but I hadn't done any trauma processing. And I had known about EMDR for many years, eye movement, desensitization, and reprocessing, um, but I didn't, um, I hadn't tried it. And so I tried EMDR and I slowly began functioning better and better. And what I found more than anything, the best way to summarize it is that I became able to, um, even if the pain was pretty high, it wasn't like right here all the time. Um, like it was before. It wasn't my only focus. I could do other things again. And, um, start to enjoy life. It eased anxiety a lot, uh, but there was still just something missing. And so I was functioning and I was able to pretend again, even when I didn't feel great and it didn't take as much energy, but there was more. I needed to do more. And so this year in 2019, I was introduced to brain spotting and have been to three three three-day trainings because I've enjoyed it so much for myself and for my clients. And there was something about realizing, um, it's almost like we break open a trauma capsule and it can be, it can go through our system and leave. Because once I realized that I thought my mom had died in that moment, something happened that eased that and helped me, my system know that, no, that was not true. And EMDR and brain spotting are kind of like how you go to a doctor and he sets your bone and your body knows what to do and how to do it. And so with EMDR and brain spotting, it feels a little bit like defragging a computer. And for those of you younger than myself, it feels like opening a file and letting your body and mind process and do what it couldn't do at the moment that the trauma happened. Um, Because trauma gets stuck and then it accumulates over the years. And so they say that migraines, chronic pain, um, those of us who are highly sensitive people, those little traumas that seem little to some do not feel little if you're a highly sensitive person, which is a trait and it's a beautiful trait. And I hope you'll look into it if that sounds like something that you've been told, maybe in a negative way. Um, It's a beautiful trait where we feel the emotions of others um, and we just most of my clients are highly sensitive people and they're beautiful souls. And I really appreciate the work that I get to do with them. But we also feel so deeply that trauma impacts us deeper and the littler traumas, the littler traumas also impact us deeply. So something to look into. So I want to see if there's anything else I want to make sure to say. Um, Oh, processing that trauma really gave me the necessary energy and motivation and ability to implement lifestyle changes that I knew I needed to implement, but just hadn't been able to. And so that has not only made it so that I can think about other things when I'm hurting, but the pain has decreased. And I'm so grateful. It's not totally gone. I mean, I'm on some medications that are pretty toxic, but it has definitely eased and life is becoming, I feel like, you know, 24 years ago, I got a second chance and I feel like 2019 is a third chance. And I owe that to EMDR 
and especially brain spotting. I've been so grateful for that extra tool for myself and for my clients. And I encourage you, if you have traumas that you feel like are impacting your day-to-day -day life, they don't have to. Your body knows how to process them if you get the right help from the right person. And so wish you luck in your journey. Thanks for listening and have a great day.